So, a quick demo of uh, the IPX Act script. Um, this is Cactus 2. It allows you to specify an IPX Act memory map. So, what I have here is uh, my memory map containing some address blocks, some base address range, and description, and other attributes. So, each address block has some registers. Here's another address block and contains a register that also contains some fields. So you can set offset and width. So you can take this generated file. So the, the Cactus 2 program will generate an XML file of the X, uh, IPXX standard. So I'll fire up the Python script. method first. You can see the Python script uh, takes an in path and an output directory. Uh, the output directory is optional. Um, the in path is the path to the IP exact XML file. There are some other parameters also. So you specify also which output you want. Uh, so if you want the C header or the VHDL or both, you will add these switches. So I'll just set up the in path of my XML file. So I'll dump this here. And I want to generate both the C and the VHDL. So this here generated the VHDL package and uh, the C header. So I have my editor here, and I'm in the output folder. So here we have the C header. First off, uh, first off is some type definitions. And here you can see all the output from the IPXact file now as a C header. And here we have the output in the VHDL package format. Same data. Address block offsets and base address offsets. So this is a smart way of organizing your uh, memory map so that you will have, uh, so you can synchronize uh, between programming from uh, the processor interface and then program programming your IP core. Thank you for watching.